Uncle Roger review K making fire rice two times before. The first time she used raw rice and cremated garlic. The second time she made fire rice with wet rice. Hiya. Now she back a third time. And today I'm going to be making chicken fried rice. Uncle Roger never feels so scared before. And today I'm going to be making chicken fried rice. Hi, uh, first step vegetable. <sighs> Uncle Roger don't like vegetable. Vegetable tastes like sad. If you want to know what's in the veg, there's carrots. We all know what that vegetable is. Herpes. How much? What? How, how much vegetable you need? Who you making this fried rice for? A fucking goat. Can you give them a mush round? But not with my metal spoon. What? What she say? What, what she say? say? Can you give them a mush round? But not with my metal spoon. Okay, no, not to use metal spoon in non-stick pan. Fui, uh, Uncle Roger actually quite impressed. This already put her above BBC food. Colors are still oh, vibrant. Oh no! Oh no! She know this? This is the first time Uncle Roger impressed by Kay? Maybe it's not gonna be so bad after all? Okay, now I've got some onions here. Onion. Okay. Usually Uncle Roger use shallot. But remember, this Kay cooking. We go easy on her. Better word, it will be its own. And... What? Garlic. <laughs> garlic from cha. Very lazy garlic. Hey, uh, garlic correct, but just use fresh garlic. Don't use garlic from cha, it has no flavour. Well, that went all uh, wrong. <clears throat> so, let's stir it round again. Hey, uh, okay. This is the longest stirring ever. Just jump forward. Kay, do you know about editing? Don't need to show us your whole cooking in real time. I'm going to let that cook for a little bit. About, oh, about, probably about 10 minutes. Add some salty. Salt good? And some pepper in it. Pepper good? For egg fried rice, usually we use white pepper. Okay. I'm pretty sure Kay just using normal black pepper. But again, this K cooking. At least pepper it in the ballpark of the right ingredient. And then it does say to add some chicken. Chicken good for oh, chicken fried rice? Hold on a minute, Kay. That chicken's already cooked. Yeah, I know. I, I, <laughs> I know. I shouldn't have, but I did. Yeah, already cooked. It actually correct, okay? Because your pan's so crowded already. If you put raw chicken in there, it's not gonna cook properly. So, I think K accidentally do the right thing. Cooked it and cut it. So, oops. These are jumping out of pan. Sweet corn jumping out of pan. Everything is jumping out of pan. The pea and jumping it's... out the pan. Because the pea scared of you. They trying to escape, K. Says to add do, 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 do. Two. Turn your phone off K before you make YouTube video Oh I can never open it oh, Two tablespoons Two tablespoons of, of what? Soy sauce Oh! Soy sauce correct? I soy sauce correct? Let me pour in it Come on it. Is she struggling with soy sauce? Well, that's one. Okay. Come on. Stop being a pain. Come on. She's really struggling. This is like the showdown of the century. K fighting with her soy sauce. Forget Logan Paul versus KSI. We now got K versus Kikoman. Soy sauce correct, Nuts. but usually we put at the end after the rice go yeah, in. So Otherwise your ingredient salty, but your rice too bland. Just cook it, just give it, give it a bit more time. It does say to put a splash of 
watering. What, what, it does say, what, what you referring to, Kay? She keep referring to something. It say this, it say that. It does say, then it does say, and then it says. What you referring to? Prison food cookbook, is it? Uh, I'm gonna get some water and I'm gonna. Water? No, don't now. put water in your fire rice. Put a splash of water in. What the? No, 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 no. Let's say how much a splash is. <sighs> this a Jamie Oliver move. Remember, niece and nephew, Jamie Oliver put water in his egg fire rice, and Kay do the same thing. But Jamie Oliver put water in when the rice in there, rice all gonna get soggy. K putting water in before the rice so at least the water have some time to evaporate. Which means K actually doing better than Jamie Oliver. Yeah! So that gives it more time to build up and did you keep to cook a bit more longer? Huh? More longer? Huh? <laughs> longer in it. So uh, yeah. Where this woman from? Longer. Um, then it says now <laughs> to drop the rice in. Rice. Okay. And this rice actually look passable. Big improvement, Kay. Your rice actually edible this time. I know, I know it looked like it come from packet rice, but this is Kay we talking about. The rice looking like this. This big improvement from last two times, not bad. And then it says on the video to add icky. I wouldn't icky. normally do it as a rolling, but... Icky, what are you, five-year-old? Exactly. As it is, and egg exactly to the video. No, no, egg, egg don't cook like this. You want to cook egg separately and then mix in with the rice. Otherwise, the egg and rice sticking together, it's not good texture. I'm gonna mix it all in before it all settles down, throwing it all out to the pan. Not to worry. Stir it round. That is your end product. Mm. Here is the taste test. And let's do it. Oh, this guy again? Who this guy? Is he her son or her hostage? Okay, where you find this Reddit moderator to taste test your food? Mmm. Is it nice? That is nice. Is it? Can you taste the flavourings? No, but everything else, like all the like um can you even taste the garlic that you put in? Can you? Can taste yeah, garlic. garlic, good. Um, even the like, soy sauce you put in as well. Mm, no, that. soy. Soy sauce, not soya. Difference? Yes, there's an A on the end that, that you oh, put an wow. A on the end. Oh god, fucking sue me, I've got dyslexia. <laughs> Last time you eat raw rice and then you eat wet rice, you don't have dyslexia, you have salmonella. Last two times the fried rice so horrible. This one actually very good in comparison. The taste is really, really nice. Thumbs up. Right, as you heard, Lee said it was nice or whatever he said. There's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. Okay, have much. If you like what you much. See, okay, she got T-shirt, iPhone case, spot bra. Okay, Uncle Roger gonna buy one K cooking spot, bruh. What, 32 pound for K cooking spot, bruh? What the going rate for spot, bruh, nowadays? 32 pound seem excessive. But okay, we buy it anyway. Let's go for medium, medium. And check out, K, this is actually huge improvement. Uncle Roger so proud of you. Niece and nephew, don't give up because everybody can get better at cooking.